it's John here. Today, Friday, the 14th of October 2016. And it's going to ring Sue Nakora. She's the uh, um, Maori policy maker for Labour in 18, 1985 for Sir Geoffrey Palmer, the Labour government. She was in the Labour government then. And they formed together uh, with her the Maori Land Court titles inside the 1986 uh, New Zealand Constitution. Okay, here we go. I'm going to ring her up. I want her to be at um, Waitangi um, on the 28th of October 2016. She is an uh, uh, in, in, in integral part of the Confederation of Chiefs of the tribes of Aotearoa, New Zealand. He goes, I hope so. I hope I can get her. Oh. That's the answer machine again. It's a um, real pity, really. I'll get a hold of uh, Georgie Job um, in Maniapoto and see if she can um, uh, locate her to give me a call. Uh, it's very important that she's there to straighten the records inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Um, I've been with her over 20 years, the same as King Itaurua. Those two are crucial in the legal documents of land titles, memorials, and um, both have been to Harvard. They're professors in uh, Maori, Tikanga law, and also um, um, conversant and um, uh, well versed in land law native titles in New Zealand. Um, so for Sue, um, I need her to uh, recite um, her Maori government uh, or a government that she has uh, proficiency in being in government. She's one of the last um, original confederation members with Mohi Manukau and Hare Utatonga that I've had anything to do with over these years. So uh, uh, they have to um, uh, put their mark in history um, of these event, of this event, uh, with Kingi uh, being uh, Queen Victoria and King Edward bloodline um, descendant, direct blood descendant on that piece of land at Waitangi the Waitangi land blocks where the treaty grounds are and the Titi Marae on the other side of the road which is also Titi blocks on a Waitangi block land. So we are talking about titles. When it comes to titles you must have the original history, you must have the links to those 19 chiefs of Ngāpui in the surname. No fungi in the surname. I'll make sure to keep that right. There's nobody going to jump ship and waka jump to the front of the queue. Um, that's a warning to anybody. You'll go to court and you'll have to refute or challenge what I say from those chiefs. They put it all together. Mohi Manikau put, he's the president of the Confederation of Chiefs legitimately lodged in Westminster Parliament, England. Now that's supposed to be a job uh, done long ago with Eli Manukau, his son, but it failed to materialise because he got mixed up with the Vatican. We're still in the Vatican. He could still come back in through the Vatican into New Zealand. Once we get the flag up and everything sorted uh, with Kingi and his tribe, there's no one else can talk above him on that piece of land uh, 
inside Nāpuri. He shall ask chief on his feet, as long as he's alive and talking, and can walk around in circles like me, and say anything, then that's the law of the land. What he says goes. And all the other chiefs in Ngāpui, you must have all the documents, every piece of documents of the puzzle, not just one bit here and there. The taumata, on the other hand, is the upper house. They have not got any structures in place. Sue's got it all. You see, each person has a link. Without that link, you can't operate. So the Confederation of Chiefs is squarely inside this country, on this land, running from that piece of land on the treaty grounds with the British ship mast there with the flag flying on it. Okay, we're just rearranging the flag Authority challenged on their authenticity of sovereignty and flag and memorials. Okay, the 1840 memorial on Titi Marae is not real. It's been homemade in 1945. Besides this flag we have, the Confederation's flag at 1834, when the British arrived here, the Navy and their immigrants. Okay, so we're going on that legacy on the piece of land where the documents were signed or the documents were um, acknowledged by the flag. So we've got flag, king and a native. There, are three elements and the land. The land only where the ship is. Everything else, the Tikanga Law, the Tituricano Land Act, that's harassing everybody in the, in the Maori world, those instruments belong in that marae under the Confederation of Chiefs at 1835. In the meantime, the 1834 Navy, military, part of that flag, is the other contract on Kororaka piece of land. That one there at Russell, where the chiefs made an agreement with the Navy. Okay, so the Navy on one hand, there, and the government of New Zealand here, New South Australia, New South Wales, Australia. And that's as far as that goes. The Confederation only goes to Australia. It does not go straight to Britain. It resides there on that Waitangi land block, mixed up with the Treaty of Waitangi 1840. Okay? But the other one, on the other side, goes straight to Britain. That's the one I'm administering that no one else can do without all the documents. And a legacy of an organization of natives documentation and chiefs. Their whakapapa, their titles to the land, the memorials that went with it, and <coughs> their surnames. Surname. Got to be a male surname to make it work. Not a female surname. No fungi, no nothing like that. No body name, no. Done with. British won't look at it. Okay? Don't worry about John Key. It's the British that I'm dealing with. <coughs> okay? So, <coughs> since I can't get uh, Sunukura, there's no need for me to try anymore. But I'm going up next Wednesday to people up at. Um, Ngāpui. I'm going up to uh, Otawa Marae to put a presentation on. It'll only take 15 minutes at the most, flat. But I want to be there in person in front of the Tomata Komatua to tell them exactly the two sides of the flag and how they fit. The Rangatiras, Arutakis, Komatuas have all got a part to play with the flag. They're going in that marae because I've arranged it. 
no one else has arranged it. I've arranged it with Kingy on his land. Okay, and Murray, Rapana, uh, the Rangatira of those lands. You see, I can't overstep them. I'm just merely saying the best outcomes is one with substance and fact to go with its history so that it's put to rest. Okay, we have to wind the clock back, change the direction where you came from in Devon, England, port, Devon port in England, to there. Devon port, England, to New Plymouth. That's the Waikato side, and the Manukau side of the title, and to Devon port here, or and Russell. That's the Uchitonga side of the title on that landlock at Waikato. Now there's no argument about anyone trying to say their Utatonga connections are going to work. No. I'm holding the Utatonga title here. It was given to me by the Utatongas to safe keep and keep it intact till the right people turn up. There have to be Utatongas for that title. That's the one house in the whole of the Bay of Islands. It's here. With its memorials. Okay? It's a big issue. And the Manukau's title is here. These are British titles. Are here with me. And it's memorials. Okay? So I'm talking for those two families and King William. That's it. Nothing else. Less. Will do. So as far as Otawa Marae is concerned, and um, um, this one's for you, um, Willie, Peter. <coughs> the Tomata Komatua has a job to do with that flag inside that fight. But you have to respect the Hapu chief there, King Tauroa. He has the last say because his name is connected to the Queen Victoria Trust and its financial instruments and Queen Victoria King Edward bloodline he's a direct descendant under the Edwards surname bloodline title that's for him to say it's not for anybody's business this is private business straight to England Nobody can inquire to what I say about the Utatonga's title. I don't need to show anyone that. I don't need, e have to even show anybody Kingi's Whakapapa. That's not for me to say. But for the Utatonga's, yes. For the Manukau's, yes. I'm here for the Manukau's. In the end, they get their title back. Right how Mohi Manukau. Tunikora gets her titles back at Seascape, right like how she said, for her chiefs. Okay? The chiefs, they ran out of chiefs. And they only had mischiefs running the place. Api Mahuta running the place. Rife and Tiwana Tibble in Auckland. The two Ngati pros running rife with each other and the government, John Key and Bill English. Okay? I can name them all for court hearings to own up to what they did to defraud the Hapu and the people of New Zealand. Okay? But I'm just saying this, these things to lead up to the 28th of October 2016 Declaration of Independence Day. So, for you, whoever if you are, I've had a good talk with Kingy. I have to keep with him because I've been in this confederation longer than anybody with the right documents. Ohipa, I've only met you last year. I've never seen you at any confederation meeting. I'm going to ask the question at Otau and at Waitangi, 
hands up all those people who have been in the Confederation right back to 1985, because I have. Okay? I have. Before that. I spent six years with Mohi Manukau at his home to get all the history of everywhere, even Chatham Islands, South Island. The Manukau names all over this country. And soon the Koros got all of that intact with all the Urupas in the big books. He got all that to put that right. I can pick the names out of there, no trouble. So there's no fooling around with Whakapapas. They're not going to work. The DNA will. I'll get the DNA kit and I can tell straight away who is who. And fungi won't do in the King's Bench Court. In the Confederation, yes, that matters with the 1835 Declaration of Independence Act, but not the 1834 Straight to Britain. Okay? 1834 Straight to Britain, 1835, New South Wales, Australia, New Zealand government, and partly through Queen Victoria to King William. See, different paths, two different pathways. You must have all that information because it's all here. And if you haven't got it, you just can't do it. The same as the police couldn't handle anything in the court, or in district court against me. That's why they lost. Because they got nothing, just whim, assuming they owned this and that. They owned the water, and they claimed to the seabed. All sorts of claims, ridiculous claims. The William King, King William and the Moai Crown will demolish all of that, including Obama. I'm just putting things online now, on Facebook, just to show why I have 68 websites on Facebook. There's one for everything, but it's a bit much for just me. I've got Jamie <coughs> and Marie, Marie Patrick Stewart to help me, because this is her Patrick. Eight point star, St. Patrick. Okay, she should be writing with that all the time, but she's got family run. Between her and I, we're putting things together, but ran out of time and ran out of money to fund everything, to keep it going, keep her going and keep me going. So, um, um, in saying that, uh, Hohepa, the Tomata can't tell me what to do when I'm talking for the king. It can't, it, it can't happen. I'm holding that flag through Mohi Manakau, Hare Utatonga, Dawi Humi, Tihari Kake, Machi Tarawa. These all the people have gone and left me with them. I've had so many meetings with them for over 20 years, whatever. Um, with this and the flag. Now, there's nobody going to tell me what to do unless they've got all the documents. The complete set, not one missing, not one link missing, and your surname got to go with it too. You can't talk like that if you're not a real surname native. Okay? Otherwise, you jump the queue. You jump in the queue. The Parapara is the old name. The Parapara come in front of me. I step aside and let the parapara in. The manika come in front of me, I step aside and let the manika in. You see? Because the documents from Britain say so. I was here. I saw you come and park yourself on the bench looking for somewhere to go. Right? That's what Mohi Manika is saying on the Marae Waitangi. The chief there says, we will have a, a whakapapa um, talk, and he was the last. Mohi was the last. So Mohi says, this is my whakapapa. I was in the kahuka tree, and I saw you all come in your wakas. And that was it. That's how smart he was. That's the end of it. Okay? So, um... Uh, whoever, 
I got a lot of admiration for you at this last eighth hour. It's, it's only taken you from last year to now to bring your kaumātua, taumata, together and go to Aotearoa Marae to form your whakamini. Now it's all in pieces. Uh, if it's not going to sort itself into an upper house. I give credit to Nuki Orridge and um, um, Gregory, Bruce Gregory. Those two had it before Bruce Greg Gregory died. Those two had it. Nuki's still there. And Bryce's son, Bryce Smith. Um, to you, Bryce, I got lots of time for, for Nuki. I'll stand aside for that guy because he was trying his hardest for many years to bring the upper house together and no one was listening. When he says put it all in the middle of the table, I put mine there but not many others because they held it to themselves and won't let anybody see. Okay, so what I do just like what I'm doing now, throw the whole lot out there because Nobody can claim it. It's got its brand on it. Right? King William right here in the middle of the seal. And eight point star New World Order. That's it. There's no ain't nobody's gonna claim that sort of authority. Okay? So I'm applying the commerce in the history of the king and the Pope and the Queen Victoria into that marae for the sake of history locked up and put on record. These videos I'm saying is the best way to communicate with people to tell them the story that's real. You can't doubt this because you have to put it in writing in affidavit to refute it. Well, there's enough information around here to kill that all. Whoever. So I got respect for you and the Tomata, but I only get a little time to talk. What I have is over 20 years of information right inside my head that I only get 5 minutes or 15 minutes to talk about at a hui. I need a whole week just to make one bit of a start. Whoever. For a hui, a day's hui, I need to hold that without stopping. Okay? Because I gotta give it all back to the native people who have not been listening. They listen to themselves and it goes nowhere. If I I talked to Willie, Peter, and I told him, if I don't do this, it's gone. The new world order comes in November when Obama's Navy comes here, whoever, there's nobody looking at that. They're not looking at the enemy, straight in the face. No one is. They're only looking up the road to put their little laws together. It's 182 years, whoever, it's taken for your people to put this all together. And for those 20 years out of that, no one was listening to me. They were just going on with their whakapapas, point to stick here, point to stick there. And, and turn each other down, blow each other off because they say, sit down, you're naughty bro, you put down there. That's what they say to me. You're naughty bro, sit down. Not on our marae. See, even Kingy did that to me. He says, shut up, sit down. And it took me so long to win them over. And for you, whoever, it'll take a few years the same way to win you over. And Willie, I was just starting to win Willie over, but it's turned uh, a bit pear-shaped. But I'm still going to go to Hotel Marae to make my little presentation, even in adverse conditions where I'm rejected, I'll still turn up and say something. Okay? Um, so, one more time. The Tomata of Daryl Payne, he's in California, he's watching for a long, long few years at what I do, same as Matt Taylor and uh, Britain, 
uh, Brighton in England. He's been watching for many years. And also um, Sue Young. She's been watching as well. There's been a few people watching what I do. Kohepa. I've got my following on Facebook on those 68 Facebook sites. YouTube, Twitter and Google. It's a lot. It's bigger than the Hui's on the Marae of people watching. They, they can read what I write, but they're surprised that no one here even bothers to do anything about it. Now, I'm saying this, Willie, I told you that if I don't do anything, I would not forgive anything of this, all this time I put together on your pieces of land up there and not my land down the East Coast. I spent more time up in Ngāpū than down on my own land down the East Coast. So, I'm saying, if I don't do anything by arranging that marae myself, without anybody's help, but that's just letter writing, on letterhead, the, the King William Moai crown letterhead, I would not get anywhere near that marae, Waitangi marae on the treaty grounds. I'll never get anywhere if I didn't have everything intact of what I'm talking about. Okay, so <coughs> I said, if I don't do anything about authority, then Obama's going to come straight in here with his navy, and you'll have guns everywhere. Right? They'll have their Navy SEALs and their New World Order um, UN all over the place. And you won't have any control over that because that's what they're trying to do is force the King's Law on everybody in the world. I'm using this King's Law here to take it off them and give it back to the people of America and the Commonwealth countries of the world, the indigenous people, and also Maori and Pacific Islands. Okay? So it's, it's, it's taken a lot to drum it in anyone's head. And if you don't get it, it's not my fault. However, it's, it's ignorance. And when you say to me, oh, we're at the learning stage, I'm afraid you, you got that one wrong. You, 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 you offend me when you say, oh, for the Aratakis, they're, they're at the beginning end of what? However, what? If I know more than you do about commerce and how that works with this and everything else, what are you to say to me? We have to start from the bottom and come through you. You see, that's very offensive me and my intel intelligence when it comes to land titles, jurisdiction and also history of Whakapapa to my own side and to the side of the king. Okay, I'm here talking for the king. I'm here talking for the king because no one is. No one did. No one could. They don't have all the bits to go with that. Okay? So I'm talking here for Mohi Manukau and for Hare Tatonga, Dawi Hungi, Richard Kake, Iari, Machitaro, <coughs> um, uh, and who else? And Bruce Gribb. Oh, those guys. And um, um, there could be some else that I'm, I missed out. But those are the ones I've been working with for all these years. They are the ones that let me talk on the Marae. And they not get shut down. Now, for you and the Tomata to learn as much as this is going to take you a very long time. And I suggest that you stick to the Tomata of Ngāpui, Nui Tonu, and the Whakamininga side of the flag, and nothing will go wrong. Do not interfere with the commercial side of business 
on a global scale, not here in New Zealand, on a global scale to Britain and on that end. You can talk in a domestic fashion, but not international, without having titles underneath you and your surname. Your surname has got to check out as well. Okay, so I'm talking here, I'm, I'm having rigid talks with Kingy because I rile him up. I rile anybody up. I, I tell him, you listen here. This is how it's going. First time, Kingy, in the last five years, Kingy's seen how he fits. Okay, it's been frustrating for him to not have his king recognised on that Marae, King Edward. Okay, he's, he's a king in his own right his name, Kingy, and whatever he can say, he can say. He can't, no one can stop him from saying what he wants to say about his land and his ancestors. There, that, that's it. The piece of land that he's parked himself on, he wants his land back. And it's very difficult for him to get his land back. There's no other way to get the land back but this authority from Britain. Not around the corner to Australia. Straight to Britain. However, that's the way I talk. Okay, and I've got people watching me try and make a mistake. There's no mistakes in this lot, whoever. That's why I say to Kingy, you just stand your ground. I know you fellows have kicked them off the Whakamininga. That doesn't change the conflict. That changes only the Whakamininga in today's world. That changes the Whakamininga, and if you put your executive administration together, it's got no base on it without going through Tikanga and the 1993 Act. That's what Patrick is doing. He's using those documents of Maori, which goes with the Confederation, not this side, with the King's Bench Court, but the Queen's Bench Court. That's where you're operating. You're part of the Whakamininga and the 1835 Declaration of Independence. There. You, you can't talk, however, you can't talk the way I'm talking. You can talk from a Tomata's angle of your history that fits the land. I can't talk for that land. Only you can, and Kingi, and all the other Ngāpuhi can up there. I have no say about the land. I do have say about the law and the land law these land laws I'm using is not the same as these ones you're using on these titles. You got that? But don't mix them up because you'll get in trouble if you start tampering with the information. Now what happened with the police whoever, the detectives and the CIB as high as they are went downhill in front of me. No one's going to stand in front of me and challenge the law on this side with the key. No one. That's why they couldn't stop me going in that Waitangi Marae. However, if you try to get it yourself for whatever reason, that's corporate, I don't think you can do it. Because all the elements have got to be together before it works. Okay? So, the Tomata can only speak from its own authority organisation. The same as FOMA, Federation of Maori Authorities, can only speak in John Key's government. It cannot speak on this side to King straight to England. It can only go through another organisation and you'll land up on King William through Queen Victoria on this side to King William on this side. See? Can you see the logic of what a mechanic like myself would pull an engine to bits and a bulldozer to bits, spread it all on the table, and find where the problem is. Right? You've got a broken piston. Whoever. A broken piston. Busted. One piston out of eight. It's busted. Why? It's because it's got some rotten oil in it that's made it go pear shape. Okay, so I'm, I'm making these talks so that it's better 
for people to watch the videos than me to sit on the marae trying to get five minutes in. See, it don't work. A marae don't work for any other purpose than what you're going to come up with your agenda. And if I took an agenda there, I'm, I'm bringing the agenda for the Waitangi Marae and I'll put it in your email, Willie, for how that's going to pan out. And there's nobody going to be jumping queues in there. No one's going to jump queues and put their self in front of somebody else's titles. Okay, you can talk to the land, but that happens to be Kingy's land we're talking about. If we had it on your land, forever, it'll be at Matari Bay. Then you can talk everything to Kauskama, but not on Kingy's. Okay, if anybody's going to knock him out off that Tomaka, then I haven't seen it yet. I'm there to support Kingy, no matter what. If he says something wrong, or you don't like him, you don't like what he does with the Crown and the Corporation, John Key, well, that's where the money is. It's in John Key's government, taken from that marae forever. And you haven't seen it all these years. You've been there going to those marae's. You haven't seen what they're doing. I have. I've never told anybody where they make their money. It's inside that marae. Every time John Key and his government goes into Waitangi marae, they go there to get consent when they go past your marae at Titi. They come in under the gate, come in, once they get through the gate, they get consent to go to the other side. Okay? Because you give it to them blindfolded. That's what I'm telling a true story. I, I, I have to say it this way. Unfortunately, I have to pick the straws at anybody to get the point across. The young people, the rangatiras, they don't want to hear about it. And the rangatais, they don't want to hear all this stuff. I, I want this for the old people, the taumata, to listen. That I'm saying this on behalf of those young people, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting and waiting for you fellows. I'm waiting for you guys. Now I've got to go, I'm just about to your stage now. When you're going to see the fairies, it's my turn to talk. Then there's not going to be any stopping from what I say. I'm talking on there now, but it's only for these commercial things. Okay, I'm only there for that. And so now, one more time. The Tomata is responsible for the Marae. That's their job. The Rangatahis and the Aratahis are supposed to take their information to the Tomata to tell them to give them consent to do what they want to do. Right? And at the end of all of that, the tomata of that marae, the last chief standing on his feet, has the last say, like Pitya Apiata, always said no. When I gave him the project for Waitangi, he grabbed it and he shoved all the other ones out. That's to develop the whole land. Okay, there was a few people put their plans in and they rubbish mine. Well, guess what? You took one look at the one I had, they had all the new buildings, everything, and how much the cost, and he held on to it. Tight. Right? But then, I know that George Takimona had his plan. They paid about 15000 to get a draft plan drawn up of the site. I've got the title of the TB3 blocks here in Titi Marae here, Kingi. I've got the original title of whose land it is and who should be there and who should not be. I'm not going to go into that, but I'm just saying. I still got stood up with all of that. It was Hare Utatanga and his brother Ben, because I was staying there, uh, and with Hare as well, um, in the caravan. Um, uh, in the paddock up at Waitangi on Ben um, Ben Williams uh, property at the back ok so between those families I got all their information and their families in Australia as well Williams so I know a lot from them all the time I've been going there lots of petrol going here and there and everywhere 
Uh, so um, that's what I'm saying um, about the Taumata. They can only talk for their own piece of land. When you put documents onto the land on that particular place, that's the mana. Not down Ngāti Pro or down South Island. It's there that the documents went to. Okay, that's where the chiefs met. Okay, we're going on to the Waitangi Marae because that's the government running that outfit over there. And when I talk to the Titi Marae Committee, because I used to be on the Titi Marae Committee on Hare Utatonga's behalf, that's when Arthur Harawira was there on the committee and a few others that were trying to dong my head at me. When I get to get up and speak for Hare. Anyway, that's where I picked up a lot of who's who, titles and whatnot. I was meant to go there. And Mohi Manikau told me to go there as well since I had done all his titles and treaty claims for the Y121, I was doing going to do Hare Utatonga before he died. I was there when he died. Okay? I was there when both of them died. The last words. I want to see the last words. Okay? So um, um, with with that Marae at Waitangi that's all crown stuff on the other side. I'm in there because I'm acting the crown. King's Bench crown in there. Alongside their Queen's Council. Okay? Not anyone's going to try that one without backbone. Um, or documents to go with it. However, we've got a big audience right around the world watching what I do there. So not anyone make a mistake because it took too long to put it together and not five minutes just to rake everybody up and make something new. You had to have all of these things in place and all the incorporations including Patrick and my own incorporation under Oepa um, uh, my incorporation is still Potikiriwa Key Waiapu Incorporation <coughs> in the Uataha Hapu boundary area. Cape Runaway, Rotten Point, Fitz Bay, Matikawa, Punarugu, Tiaroa, East Cape, Tepito, Rangituki, Tikitiki, Maraihara, Whakangiangi, Aotere, across the, uh, the um, Rokumara Range, and back to Cape Railway. That's our boundary area of Uataha Chief. That I'm representing the Wainoa there to Wainoa. Raiate Island, Tahiti, on my dad's side, to Rapanui, back to Mokonui, on our land blocks, on our homestead land blocks. Urupa, right up top of the hill. Okay, the highest point right around that area. Okay? So that gives you an idea of Whakapapa and Marais. Our Marai, Marangai or Marai there got its name changed by the Crown into Awatere Marai. It's my Marangai or Marai to the Marangaro land blocks. On the other side of Tikitiki, Rangituki, and Awatera River on the other side to Tiaro. That's all the Marangaro blocks. You see, so that's where the spiritual part is, at Tipito to East Island. Her son there, and <coughs> the Modi up on our land blocks, our family land blocks. Whakangi, Marangaro 18B block, where our house sits, in dilapidation condition. Okay? 
in amongst the gorse and the markers. <coughs> so that's where the Modi is up there in the rocks. And Mokunui Urupa to Rapanui East Island. To Tipito Haha blocks at East Cape to Tipito East Island. There. That's my whakapapa or hepa. And your whakapapa has to stack up that close to the sun. God ra. Okay? I'm just not challenging you. I'm just saying that Taumata, on the Marae, I've been on Marae so many times with the Confederation of Chiefs. That many years on that Marae, and I've never seen you anywhere near it. Not the Confederation that I'm talking about with Sue Nicola, still in charge of the Maori government. As far as I'm concerned, Georgie Job down in Manipoto is her deputy. I'm going along with that. I'm going along because it looks like a government and it's got all the right documents. It's got everything to go with it. That's what's supposed to have happened with the upper house and the Tomata. They're supposed to have their own government. That's what Nuki was trying to do. So Nazi Pro goes up there and it's shoved aside. Shuna Kora gets side with, sidelined with um, her, her, her whanaungas over, over in um, Wakero, uh, Inua, McKinnon. Okay? He, he was the chief over there with Moi and all the rest of them. Anyway, McKinnon, that's the other one I got respect for all the years. And his son, his son is, uh, should be still living there down at the heads on the other side. Matatu, um, Marae, Manakao Marae, Manakao Marae, that's Matatu, Manakao Marae, down um, on the other side of the Waikato River, head. Okay, so that's something to tell you, a little bit about an entree before I go to Waitangi, or before I go to Otawa, I hope the people there can watch the video and what I'm talking about, and I'm, and I'm not taking it lightly. I'm not taking it lightly because I know who, who's who, looking at them inside the Marae, uh, Whare, Marae. I can tell who's in the Confederation and who's not. You must have the documents right back. The whole lot, not just starting, just making a start, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. When you walk in with your documents, they should have a connection to Nuki. Nuki's the only one left that I've got full confidence in and can put everything. No one's listening, Nuki. No one's listening to each other. They have their own agendas. And we won't be fooled, uh, Nuki. We won't be fooled. We know how that works. So if you're thinking of trying to shortcut without the continuation of meetings, I've got minutes of meetings here, the, the, the Confederation of Chiefs, and that should have gone to Dewihungi and then to Kala Way. And from there, it's gone pear shape. Don't know where it's gone. Don't even know who's running the incorporations. There's no, no one's been communicating with me on these issues. When I stand up in that marae, it's a different kettle of fish because I've hired it and it's up to me to say whatever inside that marae and let who speak for what reason. As far as I'm concerned, <coughs> the Navy's coming so I don't want any interference with what I do with the Navy, with what I do with the government, with what I do with the Waitangi National Trust, which is good enough, they're good enough, and Maori and the executive, good enough to let me go through with this because it's straight up. There's no um, things out of place. It must be said. It has to be recorded in there and in the museum. Nothing changes. Just the leader of the commerce 
and how the hapu suggests or otherwise what they're going to do. So with you, Patrick, and your incorporation, that's your business, what you do on the land. But try and take it around the rest of the country. Big job. I've tried to bring everybody around the country together. Been up and down the South Island. I went down there on the Marais. I'm all right by myself, but when it comes to back to Waitangi, it seems to get not noticed. It gets not not recognised. So when you put your documents together with Hoyt of Mapiria, he left me that job to run the incorporations. He told me, John, I'll let you run the incorporations for me. And I said, no, I'm doing the act farms. I've got enough to do with act farms. I'm going to Japan and I'm going to do the economy and business. So from then on, it went downhill because I was spending a lot of time with them in Whangarei, in their office. And I was talking to him at Waitangi and giving some advice as well, and learning what he does as well. But no one was listening. That when he said, just seven resolutions change. I still got it. Seven resolutions, Patrick, Seven resolutions to change, and you would have had the country boom like that. But my own Huruta Waka decided to change the whole lot. I walked out of the meeting and never went back. I was going to Gisborne every month, every month, to have meetings about how they're going to structure the flag. It went to blazes when I left. It, 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 Everybody went scattered. And that's what happened at Waitangi. No one was listening with the incorporations to Marpedia. And when we went across the bridge, and the police were on the other side, I think there was 300 police all together. It was a few of the people in the Confederation says, you'll never get across the bridge. What's that fellow's name again? Rabana. He says, no, nah, you'll never go. He's the one with the mere. And strutting around, big guy. He was right in what he does in the incorporations, but towered over me every time. He was in, in the confederation meetings at the same time. Um, with Mohim. Okay, there's a few others, that's one of them. But when it came, we, I was with Mohi and him and Haru Utatonga. We were there at the bridge on, on, on the other side. And we were in the tent. You remember that lot? We had 80 incorporations sign the document. Those were real. And I thought, right, we're going to go across the bridge. We'll get across. And Mohi laughed. Mohi, Mohi was laughing at me because he was a confederation, not a corporation. He laughed and he said, oh, you fellas, you fellas don't, won't get across the bridge. And the other ones with him were saying, you won't get across the bridge. I said, watch, watch. And so the Maori party was right up the front. And we had no space to, to go in the front where we should be. Because we're the ones that arranged to go across the bridge to the other side for the flag. What we're exactly going to do this time. And everybody lined up and I said to whoever, hey man, there's no space. They're taking all the room. And the, the, they shouldn't be right up the front. He said, don't worry. You just make your way to the front. This, this was him saying to me. And so we took off to the front. And off we went, across the bridge. And please stop on the other side. Stop. Not come in. And then I said to Machitaro, because it was Machitaro doing all the talking. I said, Machu, get Hohepa to come up, because he was there in the wheelchair and they had to put him in the van and bring him up. So they brought him up on the van, the Navy van, okay, Navy van, was at, at the Marae. Navy van brought him up and took him straight through, right? And opened, opened the way off the police. The police had to get out of the way because the Navy told them to get out of the way. And so off we went across the bridge. That was the end of that. Police lost. 
it's like the same as what I'm doing in uh, District Court in Auckland, the police loss. So this is what the flag does. Went through, police, out of the road, straight to the flagpole. What happened next, this is the biggest mystery of all. He went that way and the Maori party went straight on. They went straight to the marae, the Waitangi marae, and instead of coming to the flagpole. You see? The Crown went that way and we went that way. We didn't know they were going to go that way. We thought they were going to come this way. They went to the marae to occupy the marae before we get there. And I went on, this is, this, I was used to be on the radio station a lot, Radio Waatea, 6.03am. I was on there a lot, Kiki Fight. When I came back from Japan with all the seaweed, seaweed plants, and took them in there, put on a demo there, went to the Maori television, put on a de demonstration there, cooking demonstration for them. And But I was talking about seaweeds and everything on the radio, let me go on the radio all the time, the station, and even on radio uh, from home. And so Kiki Fight says to me, uh, in, in this, the write-up that she was saying when I said on radio that um, it was Ohepa that opened the way to go through, and she said it was the Maori Party that opened the way to go across the bridge. We wouldn't have got across the bridge without the Maori Party. I said, no, it was the incorporations that got across the bridge. It wasn't the Confederation, it was the incorporations that got across the bridge with the Navy. And boy, uh, that was the end of that relationship between me and her. That was it. I was never on the radio station after that. I go, out. And from then on, I did make my way back in through um, um, the other lady, the other married lady. Um, I forget what, she's from Marty Grove. But she got me back on the radio again, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same enthusiasm anymore. Um, so um, um, that's how that happened. Or if I've been through a lot with the incorporation, Patrick's lot, I've been with them, I've been with Mohi's lot, and all the confederations who know which side is which. How, how the Tomata of Nuki was trying to bring everything together at Waitangi. I've been through 20 years, over 20 years of that, however, right in the middle of that. Right in the middle of that. It's taken that long to just go and do what I'm doing on the 28th of October, which should have been done long ago, 182 years ago. Okay, even a hundred years ago, it should have been done. It should have been done the last 28th day and the last 20th day, but no one was listening. That's simply what it is. They had their own agendas. They were saying, we don't want to go in, into commerce, we don't like that stuff, we don't like UCC law, we don't like this, and then we only stick to Tikana. The Tikana won't get the money. Um, however, the Tikana law will not make money to feed everybody. So the Tikanga law is grow your own crops over there and over there. Not everybody wants to do that. Only the ones who are in the corporations want to do that. There was 80 at my time. I don't know how many there are left. I'm only guessing there's a few in, in corporations who are active still because they would be old now and a lot of the old ones are gone. And the last one I can think of now is, is um, Jim Wickleton, and he's in corporations down there at um, Whakatohea. I, I know those in corporations um, are strong. That's why he's a flag man. And he's the one I wanted to, to do the karakia. I'm choosing it. I'm, I'm, I'm calling the shots here. Kohepa, uh, it's my turn because no one listens to me. I've set that marae up so I can talk. Okay, and you can have your say in there, but it's limited to time restraints because I don't want to go into the business hours that that Marai operates under the Crown. I'm respectful of that. I told Murray the conditions of what we hire the Marai for and the specific reasons to why I'm limiting the time of talking. King will have the longest say in there and uh, on his land. No one's going to tell him what to do on his land. He can talk for Matauri Bay and Willie can talk for Otaomara, but not that land. You've got your titles on your land, that's where you talk to, that bit, not that bit. The Whakaumeninga is only a collective group 
it's an organization, not the land itself and what's stuck to it. They can talk to the land, but not the commerce. Sorry, you can't talk business like this without an administration or a government of your own. I haven't seen a government yet up there. The only government I see is Suna Chorus and <coughs> Dainui's got their own upper house and Maniapoto. And that's about it. And I've got the Moai Crown Commonwealth Government of the World in Long Moai Crown King William the Fourth State Government Commonwealth of the World. Okay, federal state. Okay, so that's that's it in a nutshell of what money is made out of on this side and money is made out of one side. All the money is on this side at the present time. The money on this side, on the king's side, comes from England. Okay, they recover that side. The recovery on this side is this side. If you got any means of recovering it, then that's when all the different hapus come together. And that's, I can't operate inside the Tikanga 1993 Native Land Act. I, I can't, the Tituru Whenua, I can't operate in that system because it's corrupted. And it's got John Key's name all over it, Maori word, Maori. It's a copyright, patent name, brand, We've got Moai brand, King William brand, eight point star brand, and the flag brand name. All those elements. The Moai in particular is a brand name to the memorials, two memorials, two most powerful memorials in the world of commerce. King of the Sea. Okay? So that's the difference between that and the Queen on this side. You're under the Queen and your title, Wepa. And under Kingy's ancestors' titles, Queen Victoria and Queen, King Edward's title. Boom, there. Okay, through John Key, Wellington, Parliament, Houston Parliament, New South Wales Government, Australia. That's as far as you go with that lot of commerce. The money's made there, the money's made in Wellington, the money's made all over this land. Okay, you see the picture? Now, that's the Tomatus business is to try and make an upper house too late. It's too late for that. Whatever. That's why I've got the Commonwealth Government to go right across the top of it to keep things going till you take a few more years to put a government together. That's right up to speed with what I'm doing around the world and online and with Britain. Got our government set up over there already and a company, corporate company, okay? Corporate, a real corporate King's Company, King's Court, King's Corporate Crown Entity. Right? It's got few people in it. However, the difference between that and this with the flag, this half of the flag, this half of the flag, this one here is around the world. I'm picking the people from around each of the 250 countries. So it's like I'll have 250 representatives in the Moai Commonwealth. Government of the world, my crown, my Commonwealth government of the world will have one representative from 250 countries. So 250 on the executive, plus others that they bring to fill their lot. So I pick three from here, and they've got to be up here with everything. You've got to know everything about commerce. There's no use not knowing. There's, there's nothing to do with tikanga, nothing to do with um, history, whakawhara, or anything like that, it's just business. It's business to make money to feed yourself and to go and buy a new car and a spaceship. Okay? That's what it is. And a fishing rod. And a drone. Okay? <coughs> and go to the supermarket and buy your food instead of growing it. You go down to the supermarket. Yeah. And go to school. In their system. Unless you've got money, you can't talk. If you're going to grow a few crops and that, 
so that's just enough to feed yourselves. This everybody else is using the land better than we are. Okay? So that's all I want to say. That's all for now. We'll see you later. Have a nice day. Because I'm going to the gym right now. Bye. Uh, today, Friday, the 14th of October 2016. And we'll leave it there.